came out of poverty. Tell these niggas they stuff trying to deny me. Trying to take me out of my poverty. Trying to make some for myself. I ain't really ain't got nobody else. I ain't got no t I'm to speak for myself, but I can speak for what I do. Trying to make this cash, trying to make this blue. I'm just into the cheese, cheddar, queso. Tell these niggas I'm talking about queso. Tell these niggas trying to get big bass like queso. Oh, if you don't get streamer, I just steady came with the bean. Tell these niggas I feel like and Tell these niggas feel like Nick Cannon. She can get this nigga at night. I'm gonna give her this dick, make us feel right. Tell these niggas I came out to hear her. These niggas start taking them pills. Grabbing a wheel, telling these niggas he's sipping the seal. He's sipping that syrup, trying to make sure that he feel okay by tomorrow. Telling these niggas I bag your burrow. We gon' make up later. Her. I don't even know what I'm saying. I was just freestyling, but don't don't worry about that. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, OGT Man. And today we got my boy, Ranko. It's been a minute since I reacted to this stuff. But today we got Master Uwe. It's pathetic. I don't, I don't even know who the hell this is. But... Um, one thing I will say is, I never met him, never, never knew him. Make sure to get my boy Ranko to two mil, you know what I'm saying? Without that being said, let's start this video. Uh, ain't no lyric is my nigga. I'm gonna say it for the first time in my life properly. Nick. What's going on? We only 10 seconds into the video. This nigga talking about Hitler's my. Why? Why are people so weird nowadays? It's bad enough that he already said the the N word, nigga. Even though, even though I will say, us us black people we use, overuse it way too much and then feel offended when other people use it. Me personally, I'm not gonna start on that topic. I'm not even gonna. You know, because that's not what this video is about. It's about his weird ass nigga making a Hitler song, I think. But, yeah, it's just like, me personally, if you say it, and I feel like you're trying to, you know, be racist or be one of them type of people who try to be cool or, you know, then I'm going to look at you a certain way. And I'm going to speak my opinion. But if you're one of those people that's like, who don't, who, you know, say it as if you're trying to, you know, be like, oh, what's good, my name? Or like, you know, not try to be weird about it or make it, you know, then I'm not going to look at you a certain way. Now, if you say it around other people, I can't say, I can't save you from how they may feel. I don't care about getting cussed out. At the end of the day, it's freedom of speech. What, what am I going to do? Make you shut, make you shut up? Fight you about it? It's like, come on now. It's 2024. If if y'all start still making arguments about race, me personally, it's tired. It's old. It's real. We don't live in segregation no more. It's like, come on now. If you're one of those people who make arguments about race, I don't even know what to tell you. Let me get back to the video. My bad. People, it's your favorite Mexican raincoat here. Hope you're all doing well today. I'm not doing too bad myself. Today, we're talking about Master Uguay and how he basically ruined his reputation for shock factor clicks. There's really no other way of putting it. I mean, that's kind of just what happened. Now, if you don't know who Master Uguay is, he's this guy who got famous off of YouTube Shorts content and he grew his following up to like 7 million subscribers. When I say he made YouTube Shorts content, I don't mean the good kind. I'm talking about the lazy kind. Copyrighted music. Hey. So yeah, this was his format for a little bit, taking another meme and then doing a Sigma face after. Peak content. He'd also make videos where he tells a joke in a Master Rugue voice, you know, the character from Kung Fu Panda, and I guess that's the character that he bases his whole YouTube channel after. If he is young and blind, you won't have to speak up from me. So as you can see, his content's not the best, um, I wouldn't even say it's good. This is one of those videos that you see late at night that reminds you that you need to get off your phone and stop scrolling. Now, this video isn't even about the lazy content that he made. It's more about his recent actions and choices and words he's decided to use. I'll just get to the point, bro. He made a song about Hitler being his friend and he used the N-word in the song. I'm just getting started and I need to save my- See? Sh shit like that. Like, come on, bro. 
Now, I don't know why he decided to release this. I don't know why he thought this was a good idea. I don't know why he thought it was funny. You know, just a bad decision all around, really. He didn't even do dark humor right. It was just I'm the N-word and shout out the literal on the same track. Which to me, bro, that's just pathetic because it shows that you're not creative and you just have nothing. If your vault of jokes is running this dry, where now you're just spamming the N-word and shouting out on a track, bro, maybe it's time to hang up the jersey. And it's not even just this song. For the last year, he's been making content with the sole purpose of offending people. He made a video called My Opinion on Black People, My Opinion on Disabled People. This video lasts eight seconds. Can I resist being homophobic? Honestly, it's it's just pathetic content to get a reaction out of people because obviously people are going to be curious by these titles and think he's going to be racist. The videos themselves aren't racist or ableist. He just has noise playing throughout it where he's not saying anything. So it's literally like just debate. And he makes these videos with these controversial titles that use specific groups of people like gay people, black people, disabled people in order for him to just rack up views from people who are expecting him to say something ableist or racist or homophobic. As I said earlier, it's just bait content for edge lords and hateful people on the internet to fall for and he's not actually being homophobic or racist or anything in these videos but around the time he started making these videos this was the start of master Uguay's edgy slash dark humor arc and listen i have no problem with dark humor until you know you get lost in it you know exactly what type of people i'm talking about there's definitely people who get way too into their dark humor to the point where half of the things they're joking about aren't even jokes anymore now do i think master Uguay is an actual racist no bro but i mean he's definitely falling deep in the dark humor i think what he's doing is pathetic though i think it's just stirring up as much controversy as possible to offend people and to get attention and clicks but i don't think he genuinely <laughs> rocks with Hitler like that i think it's just him being edgy for the sake of being edgy and also to gain relevance again online which I don't know why he chose this way of doing that. I mean, look at this title, bro. Come on, like, like what was he thinking, bro? Did he just wake up one morning like, what's one way I can spice up the channel? You know, the subscribers aren't really rocking with the old jokes I normally do. I gotta switch something up. Oh, wait, I should make a song about how Hitler's my N-word. That's what's gonna get me to pop off again. I'm really creative for this idea. And it's totally not like people are gonna think I'm a desperate YouTuber desperately trying to go viral again by using shock factor content. Like, bro, that was the dumbest idea fucking imaginable. Dude really woke up and said, fuck it, I'm gonna ruin my digital footprint. Kung Fu Panda. YouTuber desperately trying to go viral challenge. And another big problem with this is that most of his audience is going to be kids. And that's for most audiences on YouTube. So they're being exposed to all of this. So after he started blowing up for his edgy content, one of his videos got taken down, which caused him to go on Twitter and make a bunch of tweets adding YouTube, basically crying to them. Most of his tweets can be summarized as... <laughs> okay, though, if you think about it, YouTube's kind of doing Master Ugwe a favor. They're cleaning up his digital footprint for him. Well, let's be real here. Do you think Master Ugwe genuinely even cares about his digital footprint? I don't think he gives a shit. Because he made this apology video that's not really an apology video, but he titled it like one. I don't know. What's up, guys? It has come to my attention that a lot of people are making videos about me saying that... I'm ruining YouTube, I have fallen off, I'm not funny, and that I'm just ruining everything. The only thing I agree with is that he's not funny. I don't think he's ruining YouTube shorts. Like, that's just an exaggerated title that commentary YouTubers are rolling with. Like, it's their little narrative. I don't think he's ruining shit. I mean, let's be real. If anybody's ruining YouTube shorts right now, it's Lanky Box. And I want to apologize. For absolutely not giving a fuck! Bro! <laughs> Yo, you guys saw how he like, how he like, um, how he like didn't apologize and he like said he didn't care? <laughs> this guy is a savage. You guys are telling me that I've fallen off? That I'm not funny? I'm getting more views than I have ever had on my main channel. We do not care. Another point these people are criticizing me about is my racist jokes. Yes, I make dark humor jokes that I think is funny. I love to do them because I think they're funny. And since I'm getting a lot of views, a lot of people think they're funny as well. Now, in no way am I racist myself. I don't dislike 
any race. I don't hate any race. I love all of them. Just because I make a messed up joke doesn't mean I'm racist myself. I even make fun of my own culture. Now, 90% of these jokes, I don't say anything racist or anything really bad directly. Yeah? <laughs> Yeah, what about, you know, Hitler being your N-word? That's not bad. Like, god damn, bro, the lack of self-awareness is crazy. I make you think it. So am I the person with the problem, or are you? Yeah, because the people are the problem. Having a problem with you saying that Hitler is your friend in a song. Like, what is this guy talking about? If you're the person who thinks. Besides, YouTube comedy guidelines are very strict. If you do something bad, they literally remove your video instantly. But I adhere to the comedy guidelines and I stay on the line of being too edgy and being normal. Trust me, if I would do anything so controversial that would break the comedy guidelines, I would be punished instantly. And he was punished instantly. I think the best way to describe Master Ugwe's recent dark humor arc is just a pathetic attempt to give views through shock factor content that isn't even good. Like this guy just was using slurs and bringing up a war criminal from World War II. Like there was nothing creative about his shock factor content. It was just like him ruining his digital footprint by saying the N-word and making a song about Hitler. It was pretty pathetic. I think he's a good example of somebody who gets a little too uh, lost into the edgy humor into the dark humor and i guess the reason why this happened is because you know he needed money he needed views anyways let me know what y'all think about this in the comments section like i said i already stated my point on it but what he's doing a look it's like a little bit there's nothing wrong with it but it's just the way how you execute it and what he's doing like ranko said it's pathetic it's like change your content up if your old content ain't doing good if you think it's funny then that's you but if other people don't and it's just you just doing it for beta it's just like it's pathetic and it's like you need you needs to do better and it really is but anyways that's the end of the video let's go read these comments Dude, the racist version of Rain Rot. Mm. Bro, literally everybody is calling this food out, bro. Bro is public enemy number one. Yeah. What's the what's worse is that he's owed it to his black friend. I don't know who that is. And I just said, don't do it. It won't be accepted well at all. He didn't listen. Hey. People don't be listening nowadays, bro, as black dude, I'm not really at, at this, I'm just confused, like, bro, pretty much ruined his chances getting a job. He don't deserve the name, ass dude. Like I said, I don't, it's just the way how he's doing it, and it's weird, and it's pathetic. That's how, that's my take. But anyways, it's your boy, OGT Man, signing out. Yiddy!